Collins Camp. Located on the north arm of the Williston Reservoir at the mouth of Collins Creek, 80 kilometers from the community of Seke Dene and a 400 kilometer drive north from the nearest paved road. The camp was built back in 2008 when BC Hydro and Seke Dene agreed to increase efforts to address the dust storms and air quality issues on the reservoir. 50 to 60 seasonal staff members were required to begin dust mitigation and monitoring efforts and Collins Camp was established as the accommodations and staging area for the crews. Archaeologists were brought in to survey the beaches for cultural artifacts. Chucho Industries began tilling efforts along the beaches. Chucho Environmental began their air quality monitoring project. And a group of researchers began experimenting with options to seed various plants in an effort to reduce erosion on the expansive, exposed flats. Each spring, the Collins Camp crew arrives a few weeks before the field season kicks off and works together to open up camp, get the roads into shape, and prepare for the season. My name is Sylvia Pierre. I am the head cook here at Chucho, and I have been here since the beginning, and I'm the oldest here at the kitchen, and I probably going to retire next year, but I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> Last year we did from April 3rd or something like that till October. It depends on how soon they get stuff done or how far the water goes up. I'm up at 4.30 and breakfast is at 6. And we work 12 hour shifts, so we're usually off by 20 to 8, 8 o'clock at night. There's two of us in the kitchen. It's a team, right? If somebody sets something down, it's not finished, then someone else comes along and then finishes it. That's the way I work. I love it here because it's by the water and you see all kinds of birds, wildlife. I don't care about the bears, but <laughs> they do come to visit. Um, and it's quiet and it's a nice camp. I'm Kenny Warren, a site supervisor for Chucho Industries. I've been here probably uh, eight years. These new trailers we got in for all the community contractors. We offloaded them with an excavator and then blocked them up, plumbed them, sewage and water. And the road was probably the biggest challenge. The roads have to be opened. I think the frost had a lot to do with it. Ended up being a, a lengthy repair and having the road shut down costs us time. I enjoy sharing what I have to offer as far as knowledge and experience. I'm not getting any younger myself, so it's time to start passing this on to the younger guys there. My name is Micah May, and I'm an environmental scientist for Chucho Environmental. For the past four seasons, I've been based out of Collins Camp each spring working on the dust mitigation efforts. This is a big project that spans several square kilometers along the reservoir and requires substantial human power and a lot of equipment to get done. Cedars, irrigation systems, water pumps, tractors, seed, fertilizer, and other equipment all need to be moved to site each season. Every year, there are new environmental factors that we need to adapt to, and the weeks prior to startup are essential for us to get organized and prepared for a smooth start. Collins Camp is about as remote as you can get, but there's an incredible team up here, and there's a satisfaction that comes from working together on these preliminary projects each spring.